Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our news channel iNewsU. Today, we have a significant and concerning story to discuss as federal agencies and university administrators grapple with a surge in anti-Semitic and Islamophobic incidents on college campuses across the country. The delicate balance between providing security and protecting free speech is causing a heated debate, not only within educational institutions but also within the Biden administration. Our focus today is on the main campus of the University of Connecticut, where students from diverse backgrounds are feeling the impact of rising tensions. The Muslim Student Association, Students for Justice in Palestine, and the Hillel Center for Jewish Students have all reported incidents that have left students and their families worried about safety. One of the central challenges faced by universities is the reluctance to intervene in situations where speech may be perceived as threatening to one group but defended as an expression of free speech by another. This dilemma has led to extensive debates within the Biden administration, particularly among representatives from the White House, Homeland Security, Justice, and Education Departments. Recently, the Department of Education issued guidance to schools, reminding them of their legal obligation to address discrimination. The department has also opened investigations into four elite universities for instances of anti-Semitism and Islamophobia. This move reflects a federal effort to take concrete action in response to the troubling incidents on campuses. Students, both Jewish and Muslim, express genuine fears for their safety. Incidents such as the disappearance of posters at the Hillel Center, calls for the freedom of Palestine, and anti-Semitic comments on social media are contributing to an atmosphere of tension and fear. Muslim students are altering their appearance to avoid identification, with some opting for hoodies instead of traditional head coverings. Incidents of harassment are also on the rise, with reports of a Muslim woman being harassed by a car of men after leaving a pro-Palestinian rally on campus. Additionally, a voicemail received by a recent graduate from an unknown caller further underscores the seriousness of the situation. The voicemail contained disturbing content, revealing the deep-seated animosity that some individuals harbor. In response to the escalating tensions, different student groups are taking matters into their own hands. Jewish students at Hillel are recruiting, hiring, and training students to provide extra security for the building. They have received government funding and are collaborating with local law enforcement to ensure the safety of their community. The Department of Homeland Security, DHS, offers universities free security assessments through the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA. Physical security advisors from CISA can assist schools in various ways, from evaluating facility entrances to reviewing lighting in critical areas. However, trust issues arise, especially among Muslim students who question the historical treatment of their community by DHS. While some students welcome the idea of increased security measures, others, particularly members of Students for Justice in Palestine, express skepticism. They point to the need for a nuanced understanding of the situation, considering the historical context and potential biases of government agencies. Administrators at the University of Connecticut state that they are investigating incidents of harassment and threats. They unequivocally condemn Islamophobia, anti-Semitism, and all forms of hatred. However, both Jewish and Muslim students feel that the university should do more to acknowledge and address these incidents. 
There is a shared call for open dialogue on the campus, fostering understanding and inclusivity. Amidst the challenges, there are glimmers of hope as student groups actively seek to bridge divides and foster unity. Initiatives such as joint events between the Muslim Student Association and the Hillel Center demonstrate a shared commitment to promoting understanding and dispelling misconceptions. It's a testament to the resilience of students determined to counteract the divisive climate on campus. The incident where an Instagram post advertising a talk by a survivor of the Riyadh Music Festival massacre received anti-Semitic comments highlights the need for digital literacy and responsible online discourse. As tensions rise on college campuses, the struggle to balance free speech and security intensifies. The federal government university administrations, and student groups are all navigating uncharted territory, seeking solutions to ensure the safety of students while upholding the principles of free speech. It is a complex and challenging situation that requires a multifaceted approach, involving dialogue, education, and a commitment to creating a campus culture that promotes diversity and inclusion. Thank you for joining us today. Stay informed, stay engaged, and we'll see you in the next update.